Hello everyone, I'm Vikas. I'm the CEO founder of a startup company, AlgoSearch. Many times in our life, we have to make difficult decisions. They are difficult because their outcome is often uncertain and they change the path of our life, like shifting gears in life. I have done that a few times in my career and I would like to share my story that how shifting gears in my career made me whatever I am today and enable me to dream what I can become in future. Since childhood, I was very interested and uh, excited about technology and engineering. I used to repair televisions, radios, bicycles with my father. And I used to dream that one day I would become an inventor. I would invent something for the world which will help the world and which would make me a little famous. But in 2005, things changed. I got into IIT. At IIT, I was wondering for first few years that why every student is just waiting anxious and curious about that one last month of their IIT time called as job placement month. After waiting for a few years, after wondering for a few years, I did the same. I got placed in a supply chain industry. I got a non-technical job, which is preferred by most of the IITians. I was happy. Wait, did I just tell you that I always wanted to be an inventor? Never mind. This job was good. <laughs> the first month was really exciting. New people, new places, uh, new job, new things to do. But the second month, it was boring. Mm. The third month, I was really stressed because I didn't like what I was doing. And in the fourth month, I left the job. That was a big shift of gears because after working for so many years at IIT, IIT just to get the job and now leaving or quitting the job in just three months, I knew that no one will give me a job after, after that or very few. It's very difficult. It was like a, a breakup. Initially, it gives a, re, a little relief. Later, it makes you anxious about your future. I was anxious about my future career. Big shift of gears. But then I came to IIT back and I started talking to my professor, Professor Ravi. I asked him, what can I do in my career? He told me one thing that because do something which kept you interested, which kept you excited for last few years. And the one thing which kept me excited was my engineering project. I made a device for orthopedic surgeons to make accurate knee replacement surgeries. So I decided to go back to IIT as a PhD student and work in the similar technical field. But then I wanted to make the most out of it. So I was looking for a very difficult problem to solve. And here is where I met Dr. Manish Agrawal. Dr. Manish Agrawal showed me past, present and future of orthopedic surgeries. He told me that future surgeries will all be simulated or planned in a virtual 3D environment. The problem was to get a 3D model of a bone, you have to get a patient CT scan. Now patient CT scan is difficult to get. It is not a usual imaging method. CT scan is a little more costly, a little more radiation intensive, and you know, it's less available. So Manish Agrawal gave me a problem that can I create a technology that can convert a low cost, easily available, two dimensional plain X-ray image into a three dimensional model. It was a difficult problem because usually for three dimensional model you need multiple images to you know create it so i took this problem i used machine learning and various uh, new algorithms to solve that problem for years and within two to three years i solved the problem i was very happy i even named it as x-ray to 3d technology that technology that converts x-ray into 3d i was very happy very excited because you know, remember I said that I always wanted to be an inventor? This was the moment I invented X-ray to 3D, world's first technology that converts plain two-dimensional X-ray into three-dimensional model. Amazing, right? But that was not the end. That was just the beginning. In fact, after publishing this X-ray to 3D in research articles, conferences, I even created a website. I got a lot of attention after that. I was in newspapers within a few months, in TV media within a few months. A lot of attention.
In fact, in 2004, I got my first national level innovation award by Dr. Mashilkar and Professor Anil Gupta. It was Gandhian Young Technological Innovation Award. That was unexpected. In 2015, early 2015, I even got invited at President's House. I stayed there for two weeks, uh, interacted with some of the big leaders of the country, big decision makers like Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam. I spent time with uh, uh, former President Pranam Mukherjee ji. I even met Prime Minister Modi ji. That was such a royal treatment. In the same year, 2015, later, I got selected into a national competition, innovation competition called as India Innovation Growth Program. It's one of the biggest technology commercialization competition in the, in the country. I was in fact the first ranker in that competition. It was organized by the Government of India, Lockheed Martin, Stanford, some of the big organizations. It was really outstanding for me. As a prize, they sent me to Silicon Valley to interact with some of the top innovation leaders uh, uh, in the world. Places like Google, Stanford. Wow, that was a lot of learning and a lot of respect and a lot of recognition. But why so much awards, recognition, respect for? For what? You know, many technologies, many inventions never reach the people. They are often just kept in the thesis in a library. All that recognition awards and all that respect was to motivate me to not do that. That was to motivate me to make this technology useful for people. In fact, I remember when I met Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, the first question he asked me that because when surgeons are going to use your technology. But this was a big decision to make. I had to change my research path into entrepreneurship. Big shift of gears and it was not easy. Because getting into entrepreneurship or startups of medical device is the most difficult. You have to wait, you have to work with surgeons and wait for five to six years just for clinical trials and getting FDA before getting into the market. That's not easy. So many years of your life you have to give. Big shift of gears. But that was not the first time I'm doing that. So yeah, I made a hard choice. I chose startup. In 2016, I partnered with uh, one other IITN, Amit Maurya, and started a company, AlgoSurge. In AlgoSurge, our goal was to find a good surgical application, a surgical problem, which can be solved with our technology, X-ray to 3D. So for two years, we worked with some of the top surgeons like Dr. Mangal Parihar, Dr. Manish Agrawal, uh, other surgeons like Dr. Vivek Shetty and we, we started working on creating ideas. Most of the time was attending surgeries and understanding their problems. Many times I remember um, Amit and me is just standing at operation theatre while a patient is staring at us wondering why we are standing there and while we are observing his surgery. That was always weird. But we learned a lot from that. We learned that surgeons have to make a very difficult decisions during the surgery. There are a lot of surprises during the surgery which surgeon has to encounter. This can often create mistakes, a lot of surgical time and a bad performance. So we decided if we can use our X-ray to 3D technology to create world's first web software for three-dimensional surgery planning so that surgeons can plan the surgery before the surgery and the surgery will become seamless. And we didn't need any CT scan or MRI for that because we had X-ray to 3D. That was a great idea. We worked with surgeons, made a few prototypes, helped them in a few surgeries, and then it was time to pitch it to a bigger platform. So we went to Silicon Valley and pitched this idea of surgery planning software to Y Combinator. Wow. In 2018, we pitched this idea to Y Combinator and that was the most difficult thing we ever did. You know they say getting into Y Combinator is even more difficult than getting into Harvard or MIT. It's an organization which supported companies like Airbnb or Reddit uh, or Dropbox uh, in 10 years back. But hey, we got in, we got selected by Y Combinator and that was really a big breakthrough for us. We entered in Y Combinator with an idea of surgery planning software and we exited with a great vision of surgical automation like robotics. Then after that it was great. We didn't stop. 
we worked hard made many new products with our technology and we were at the stage of clinical trials by 2020 we were doing few things so fast which we were thinking we will do after 5 years now in 2020 we were ready with our first big clinical trial but then corona virus came up hmm. corona virus with its lockdown and this was really bad all our work development clinical work stopped everything was just stopped but did, did that didn't stop me i started working with amit morya my co-founder again on fiveboard and started brainstorming new ideas we started creating ideas where we could use all our knowledge and previous technology into something new that can be you know brought to market bring it to market very fast that can uh, that that will not need any clinical trial or fda and it will make a bigger impact for the whole surgical community and here is where we started building world's first low cost surgical training simulator for complex surgeries we pitched this ideas to surgeons they loved it they gave us ideas we built new prototypes and then we pitched that that idea to bigger platforms and we got so much support industries in medical device and investors started supporting us we were back in game with a bigger uh, platform now we were th- working on technologies like augmented reality and robotics which we were thinking we would be working in next few years everything just speeded up and now we are looking for a better future for our research now i can really dream to be someone who can be recognized for his contribution in the space of surgical automation i hope i will i will reach there and it will be great fun what a journey of my career from being a kid who had a dream to be an inventor to an iitian who lost his dream to be a non technical job holder and then to become a researcher and inventor like i always wanted to be and then to suddenly become an entrepreneur with all of its ups and downs so many twists and turns right but one thing didn't change my passion for technology creation if you work hard enough towards your passion then life gives you opportunities and all you need to do is grab those opportunities and just flow like a river with an excitement that what surprises this life is going to bring to you that's how it works right shifting gears in life thank you very much